I'm Alec Bouchon. You guys might know Zoe in fifth grade and where the junior um, here. Um, I go to SMU in Dallas. I'm studying finance and economics. Uh, if I had to give some advice, I'd say well, I started day school at junior pre-K, so I went here for 15 years. Um, throughout the whole time, you, you're slowly making this transition with your teachers, from like supervisors uh, to mentors. And like eighth grade is kind of where it started to transition for me. So like. Obviously, at lower school, they served as more supervised. Like, they were your teachers and they taught you things, but they supervised you. Whereas in high school, as you're getting more mature, you start to get to know your, uh, your teachers and, like, um, you develop relationships with them. And that they, and it helps you, like, approach them when you have a question with, uh, like, a certain topic, like Doc uh, or Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer is no longer here, but. I felt I had those relationships with those teachers, um, especially with the small class sizes. You could, I could approach them uh, as both mentors and teachers, and they did, they weren't just like someone who was supervising me as a student uh, here as a dean. So uh, I advise you guys to just like take advantage of that, take advantage of the small class sizes, uh, and get to know your teachers better. <clears throat> Hello, my name, is, uh, my name is Leah Hill. I am an environmental law major in Syracuse, New York. Um, I started going here when I was a freshman in high school. Uh, so, and I was going to school with like Alec, who, and a lot of people who had been going here since they were like babies. Mm -hmm. So, I can really stress that coming here, I realized like how far behind like public school education had like put me. Um, so like coming here is like a way for you to get ahead. Not like just like like an NA education, it's like socially. You come here and there's like a lot of diversity but when I went to college where like people all they were like, wow, they've never seen a Muslim, they've never seen a Jew before. Like it's something that's really special here. Um, Secondly, I would also like to tell you, uh, going on what Alex said, get to know your teachers. Like I, when I was a freshman, I started talking to Doc, and as I progressed through high school, I started talking to him more about like things that I was interested in, and like ozone, and different applications of chemistry. Learn what you like here, and that will help you when you're our age to find what you want for your major, what you want to do when you grow up, so that you don't have to get a job or a major that you don't like or not happy with, something that you want to do, you want to learn that now. Can I also add, um, take writing seriously. Um, English is really important, and I'm, I had several roommates or even just really good friends who would come with me with papers, and I'm like, oh no, you can't turn this in, so it's terrible. But it, at the same time, I had the education that they didn't have, and because of that, I had the upper hand. So. Um, I, mean, I got an A's in all my English classes, and I never had problems with papers. I even got 104 on a research paper, so that's something that my teacher said had never been done. That's just because I knew how to do MLA style, I knew how to write a good 12-page paper. So that being said, um, not bragging about myself, but just more bragging upon the fact that I had the education for me to write the papers that the other people didn't have. Now, with their next step being high school, I mean, Derek, you and Will, you went a semester to another school, and then you came here, right? Or a year to another school, and then you came here. What What was the difference, or why did you go to this high school? Why did um, you come to here? Well, I went to Castle before I came to day school. So I went uh, to Castle from kindergarten through freshman year. <laughs> and uh, my cousin, came in here and took a test, and I decided to come in here and take a test as well. And we both uh, passed it, and we decided together that we would come to day school and uh, sort of further our education. And looking back at it, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Uh, I got the opportunity to do a lot of things that I never would have had going to a public school. Uh, senior year, I played soccer with Jack, and at Castle, I would have never had the opportunity to play soccer. Uh, we had 
good times in basketball. Uh, uh, freshman year, I got behind in school. I didn't really care. And I learned when I came here that it was really important. And uh, I fell behind here because of my time at Castle. And not to bash on Castle or anything, but I just uh, learned how to study here. Uh, I learned that I needed to get good grades to get into college. And the teachers sort of preached that to me. And that was probably the best thing for me. And I went to North for a year and a half. Then I came here halfway through my sophomore year. Um, to be honest, it wasn't really my choice. My parents just sent me here. But I quickly realized that was like the best decision I've made or they've made for me. Or really, it's like one of the best things that's happened to me because when I came here, like people, like the teachers, they care about you. They want you to do well. Well, you're at when I was at North, I was just a number for them. Just in a class with 35 other kids. So eventually, like I struggled here when I got here right away, but eventually I caught up with the other kids. I learned how to study. I learned why I needed to work hard, and uh, it really helped me when I was looking at colleges and stuff. Okay, what opportunities does this school have that are like better than what the other schools have? Are they like easier to approach? Small class sizes. Small no, class sizes. Yeah, like I, I had a lot of trouble um, since I like didn't come to school here for middle school or before then, uh, especially with math classes. I had teachers that would stay after school with me during lunch. They would like spend extra time with me, their time like that they would have with their families or something just so that I could excel and do better. And it was so much great, so much better. And like I talked to my friends about it like from different schools and they they could not imagine that that's something that there were teachers would do. My freshman year, I think I had seven or eight people in my class. Yeah. So, I mean, if you think about how much individual attention you get from a teacher when you have a class of, of like an individual class of three people and one teacher, at the time you hated, but looking back, it's really nice. And also, it depends what what school you're comparing it with. Like with Castle, obviously you're going to talk about larger class sizes. Thinking about like like school like Castle or North, that like kids like 500 grade. Yeah, I mean it, it, it's a small class size. And also, if it, like if you're interested in sports, I'm not sure how many of you guys are. You, like here at day school, you have an opportunity to play school. Like I played, I played soccer, basketball, and golf like all varsity and at Castle or North or something there's no way I could have been able to play any of those sports and at a varsity level. Why is that? Does I, does like I mean I, I just wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're talking Division 4 versus Division 1. Yeah, I mean it's just like I mean, it's more competitive. Um, and the thing about sports here versus sports other places like here you have since there's like so there's like less people to choose from, so everyone gets considered and gets on the team. Then you can build those school, those skills here, and then if you get good enough, when you go to college, they'll consider you for different teams. Like you have those skills now, and you might get scholarships for them. Yeah, I know. Like there, uh, a kid in my grade, you probably don't know, Jeremy Legrone. He's yep. playing. He used to go here, here. but. Um, He's playing up at Aurora University. He's playing basketball for Aurora University. And he came, wait, he came from Harrison, what, his sophomore or junior year? So he came here, like he wanted to play in college, play basketball in college, um, and came here. And because we had a basketball team, like he would have probably wouldn't have considered coming here if we didn't have a basketball team, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he got the academics. Is it fair to say, you guys comment on this, um, what these guys know now and what they have known is who's in their class. But once you get to be a freshman here, you are part of an upper school. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how that's different to them? Because I think sometimes it's hard for them to conceptualize what we talk about when we say that. Besides like field day and 
student like elections or whatever, I mean, you, yeah, you're in your class, but other than that, you're considered part of the upper school. So that being said, um, I mean, you may have a class with a senior <coughs> and there be freshmen and junior. It just kind of depends on what classes you take and how you proceed through high school. So classes will start to blend a lot. Mm -hmm. I, exactly. I, I know I took creative writing as a junior, and I think there was at least one freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. In that class. And it's a great thing. It's like a way. It's like there's no boundaries. You just you're just all friends. But it's to nice. jump on that, that's how college is too. Yeah. I mean, you're going to go into college, and a freshman class that you have might be something that a senior needed for um, mm -hmm. to get a minor. So he took that class as well. So um, that's exactly how college is too. Yeah. A blend. Well, and even our prom. It's an upper school prom. I can't tell you how awesome it is to, to go to college students. and say you've been to four proms. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, like yeah, no, I've been to four proms. Chiming yeah. so. in on that, like telling people that I that my graduating class was like twenty, like people's jaws drop. Yeah. Like it's it's really funny. Yeah. They can't believe like we knew everyone in our class because they didn't even know everyone in their class. I mean, I had a roommate that graduated with like five hundred kids, and she didn't know all of them. So I think that's a real benefit here. It's an easy icebreaker as well. Yeah. When you go to college. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> they ask you where you went to school, and I say Evansville Day School. And they're like, oh. And I was like, yeah, I've, I had 11 people in my class. And every yeah. time, they're just oh, yeah. shocked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it creates <laughs> conversations. It's really crazy. So. Yeah, I knew people in other classes. Like, I knew Alec, like, really well, even before, like, high school. And so, I mean, you meet each other in middle school, and then, I mean, high school is not clippish. I mean, you can know people in the freshman class if you're a senior. Yeah. So. That's here. Just like, yeah. yeah, and it's great. Like, um, in other schools, there's, like, this discrepancy between, like, uh, senior class and the freshman class. Like, like you know, all those high school stereotypes of, like, bullying with freshman class. Like, you can't take that here. Like, yeah. not only bullying in general, but, like, it's so small, and it's so... Close knit, you can't be mean to someone because that's all you have. Yeah, what would you say on like the benefits are for day school versus another really good school like SIG or New Tech or something like that? Well, I mean, kind of like we touched on earlier with, with the big schools like Norton Castle, the small uh, class sizes. With day school, uh, day school and SIG have a lot of similarities obviously um, but the one thing that day school doesn't have is athletics and also um, athletics and just a general like sense of I've, I've never went to SIG but I've heard from my friends who like went to SIG that in the <coughs> academic atmosphere there it's extremely competitive oh like, yes mm -hmm. very competitive like you're like uh, pitted against your classmates mm -hmm. to get the grades you want versus here where I would do all of my studying with my friends and like spend all of my study halls with like Augie and a couple of my other classmates studying AP chemistry for the tests that we had the next period. Like at SIG it's this like it's hyper competitive and it's like you're in it for yourself and you're not really there to help other people get good grades. So you wouldn't be helping another kid on the homework. Exactly. No, yeah. Like, want that. It's, a teacher, a teacher might say like, you know, I'll give this many A's and no more. Mm -hmm. And then, and then it's like, you know, your your classmates are now your enemies. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wish her yeah. was here. She graduated in our class. She yeah. went three years to SIG and then chose to go her senior year here at day yeah. school because of that. Mm -hmm. And she went to day school for I don't know several years before and then eighth grade, third grade and then, to eighth grade, and then she went to SIG for three years and then she was here and she said it just it's cut throat. She was really glad she came here her senior year. She was really happy she transferred back. And they need to talk to the boss. Yeah. And um, we have Saunders. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when when yeah. you go to admissions, like, I mean, I know it's so hard for you to see college now. I mean, I'm be really honest. Like, I didn't think about it a whole lot my great year, not even my freshman year. It's so, it's such a hard concept to grasp. But, I mean, it's in the future, it's coming up. When you go to college, you're like, oh, I went to Evansville Day School. And the first thing, the first people they talk about is Mr. Saunders. And yeah. you kind of have that in your back pocket, which is great. I know a lot of the teachers helped me make like my decision of what major I wanted to go into by going here. I talked to a lot of teachers here. Saunders really helped me 
So I know that was a real benefit of going here. It really helped me decide what I wanted to do. Absolutely. And these guys talk about having a college counselor, and Mr. Saunders, we're the only school that has that college counselor. Other schools have guidance counselors, mm -hmm. and they deal with um, lots of issues that students have, and they're also having a helping with college applications, but um, I know sometimes as, especially when you're in eighth grade here and you hear us talk about college counseling, it's kind of all you know and you think every school has that, but that is something unique to today's school. Absolutely. Yes. And the college counselors for a lot of other schools are not as helpful. I've talked about a lot of my friends who are feeling really desperate and like afraid now because their college counselors don't know what to tell them. They're not helpful. They're not, especially with such, it's not their fault, I guess, since the, a lot of the school, uh, class sizes are so massive. It's like, it's difficult. But here, since the class sizes are small and the staff is so dedicated, like, you get, you get the world at your feet.